Today, we're diving into some shocking new political developments that could change the face of UK politics. Imagine this, Sir Keir Starmer, who currently holds a strong majority in Parliament, could lose it all if Robert Jenrick became the next leader of the Conservative Party. Yeah, you heard that right. A recent poll has revealed some pretty surprising stats, and we're breaking it all down for you. So, let's get into it. This latest poll was conducted by Electoral Calculus and surveyed over 6,000 people. According to the results, if former Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick takes the helm of the Conservative Party, the Tories could win an extra 57 seats. That's a big jump compared to just 30 additional seats if Kimi Badenoch were the leader. But hold on, there's more. The polls suggest that one of the biggest winners from Jenrick's rise to power could be Nigel Farage and Reform UK. Yet Reform UK could see a significant boost in seats too. Now let's talk numbers. If Jenrick were to lead the Conservatives, they'd secure 178 seats and Labour's majority would disappear, dropping to 311. That's 14 seats short of a clear majority. Meanwhile, the Lib Dems would drop from 72 to 58 seats and Reform UK? They jumped from just five seats to a whopping 24. Crazy, right? Jenrick wasted no time responding to this poll, telling Tory members, this is the choice, government or opposition. Pretty bold statement, and he's not wrong. The numbers definitely show that under his leadership, the Tories have a better shot at reclaiming power. But it's not all smooth sailing for Jenrick. His main rival, Kemi Badenoch, still has an edge within the Tory membership, at least for now. A YouGov poll from early October shows Badenoch leading by 52% to Jenrick's 48%. But here's the kicker. Six weeks ago, Badenoch had a much larger lead, 59% to 41%. So it's clear that Jenrick is gaining ground fast. Now, Kemi Badenoch has been taking a different approach. She's running what she calls a grassroots campaign rather than a media campaign. In a recent virtual rally, Badenoch confidently stated, I think we are going to do this. I'm not being complacent. She's focusing on getting out there and connecting directly with conservative members rather than making flashy media appearances like Jenrick. Badnuck has also made it clear that she's not just here to win votes. She wants to bring back the voters who've drifted to Reform UK and the Liberal Democrats. She's been pretty vocal about how she plans to take on those parties and regain support for the Tories. So it's really a tale of two campaigns. Jenrick is all about delivering results and appealing to a broader public, while Badenoch is focused on energizing the conservative base from the ground up. Both are expected to face off in televised debates soon, so definitely keep an eye out for that. So what do you think? Could Robert Jenrick really be the key to ending Starmer's majority? Or will Kemi Badenoch's grassroots approach win her the leadership? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest in UK politics.